I was in a room. No. This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you were in a room. Go ahead, buddy. Cranking 25, 30, you know, like, uh, push-ups in a row, like, uh, this is that. Oh, man. Yeah, I just felt like it. I did some abs. And I just felt like destroying, and, and, destroying my body. And, and, in a positive way, of course. And, and when was this? When did you do this? When did this occur? Three months ago. Three months ago. While you were in a relationship. Yeah, but there's been multiple times throughout the year. So. You really just had this urge in you to get shit done. Yeah, yeah. I just had that urge. I was killing it. And I was like, you know, you try it. You do it. You told it to her? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't. You're always doing that. You're always. Alright. Yeah. I, okay. Don't question, you know, me doing this, me doing that, just because you can't do it, you know? Is that what happened? She questioned you about what you were doing and why you were doing it? Yeah. While you were putting in the work, doing the push-ups? I mean, why else? I mean, there's obviously a, not a goal, but there's a reason for everything. When I'm, you know, when I'm doing that, I'm not doing it for essentially no reason to just for fun. You know, I'm just doing it because I have the urge and I have that, like... You want to get better, right? Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's like you have the natural desire. Yeah, the improve. natural desire. Yeah, that's part of being masculine. A man, general. I feel like. A man and being masculine. And I feel like women don't have that, bro. They don't. They can't. I feel but like they I've want noticed. someone who does, though. They want a man who I does. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I've met, and I don't want to speak for everybody. Don't think that obviously this is a girl hate channel, right? But I've noticed that a lot of girls want something that doesn't give to themselves ultimately. Yeah. I feel like it's always for something, for somebody, for a group of people, for a greater calling, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it never comes back to self, it seems like. It's always got to do with someone else, their family, some charity, some just message to the world. Like, uh, this is a controversial topic, but my brother disagreed with me about how I said George Floyd died because of what he did. In the past, yeah. In in that moment, and he was like, as questioning me, and I said that I only went. To, it's crazy how that happened. But I said that I only went to the George Floyd uh, meet, right? Not not rise, but peaceful protests because of a white girl because she invited me to it. If she didn't invite me, I wouldn't have just decided to go to this protest because. I feel like I looked at, I feel, quote unquote, I feel like I looked at the reality of the situation. And not a lot of people are able to look at it like that and right. be able to smile and take accountability because that's a masculine thing, taking accountability. Like, no matter what happened, I feel like always you could have been better for the situation. You could have been more prepared. You could have taken things in a better mental state. You could have done things different. I feel like in any state, with no matter who you're dealing with. Yeah. Were you? One of the things that people need to realize, I feel like, is that over time, when you develop yourself, it's not just your body, your, you know, your, it's not just your body that you're developing, it's your mind along with it, though. So when you invite other people in your life, you make your mind and your life and your body, you make a part of your energy connected with them, you know, in some way, because you're sharing your energy, you're doing this for this, bitch, you're doing that. And like, when you're doing that for someone, it's like you started developing with them. And then when, you know, uh, suddenly when you know deep down it's not right, I could be doing this, I could be doing that. Now that you've, they're, that you've manifested and you have their, their energy embedded inside of your brain, a part of you feels like, no, this is right. This makes them happy. I should do this because, you know, um, what's it called? I, I should do this because it makes them happy. I should do this because I think it's right. I should be doing this because... But deep down, when you ignore your own mind, when you ignore your own body, and when you have someone else tell you what's right what, or what's wrong, when you, when you have someone tell you that, or when someone tells you that they think they know more than you know about your own body, deep down, even though you know they're wrong, it takes courage, it takes masculinity, and it takes I think but to be a man to be able to walk away from something, knowing that your whims and your desires, despite what you want, you have to do what's better for yourself. And self-love, you can go through many marriages, you can go through many relationships, hook up with as many girls as you want, but if you have this addiction, obsession, attachment with every, every single girl that, that you meet or every even person that you meet in life, 
do you feel like you have to be 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 with them like this is that when you're not prepared for them to not be in your life anymore <laughs> or prepared for them to just you know um what's it called like eventually not do, be there do what they've been doing for the yeah. amount of time that made you addicted to them in the first place right exactly and, and say i have a businesses a good paying job salary based job a wife you still think a salary based job is a good thing I mean, I guess just some sort of financial stability okay. and um, kids, wife, family, everything, you know, we're all good or whatever. Throughout time, despite how good everything feels and how you com- feel like you completed life, whatever, just because, you, just because you have those things, imagine, what if I don't have my kids anymore? I don't have my wife anymore. Yeah. I don't have my job anymore. You're speaking facts at such a young age, bro. That's such a good thing. Despite all that, bro, right? what are you then? Do you know what? When is, you lost everything, what are you at that point? Do you know what? Somebody questioned that with me and my brother there. He was like, yeah, society has told you you need money. Society has yeah. told you you need yeah. to have a car. Yeah. You need to have a family. Yeah. Society has told you you need to be a provider. Society has told you a lot of these things. But one of the things that's in your control completely that society doesn't make you do anything on is your body. Yeah. How you take your diet. How you sleep how you take care of yourself overall, in general, with, with money, if you get a lot of money. Nobody makes you get a lot of money, they just yeah. make sure that you do hard work, right? Yeah. Everybody likes a hard worker. So, I think it's important to think about what your desires are and what yeah. your path is and where you, should, where you should go in life for your reasons and not focus on a girl, a boy. That's really what it is because like you said, and like I saw is at any point, a kid can die that you had. Back at the, back in the day, people knew that, understood that because life was harder. Yeah. There were more things that could take them out, yeah. disease, whatever. But now it's like people put so much into one child that they have, yeah. they don't even think about their own life and what they were on before they had a child. It's like, not a bad thing because it's good to put a lot in the yeah. kids. But that's, you have to put into your kids, uh, uh, but at the same time, when you prepare, when you know they're gone, they at some point take some part with you, you know? I mean, because when you're taking care of a child, regardless if you like love them or not, they're your child. You brought them in, 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 into this world. You're going to have that connection with your child no matter what. Do you uh, think- but at the same time, there's psychos and there's millions of people that kill their children that, you know, wouldn't give, that would not simply care at all if anything happens to them. They leave them like, they don't mean anything to them. Everyone, when, not that everyone deals with life differently. They and, do. And then I guess, yeah, and then, yeah. Everyone deals with their life differently. But at the same time, it's how, it's how you deal with it. Say you have two different guys. They both lose their child. One's gonna do Ooh. something, and one's gonna do something else. Right. The, the, both of them have the same conclusion though. Both of them have lost their child. What are either of them gonna do about it? The life trajectory is different based on what they do. Yeah. So some someone will crash out, someone will work to make a million dollars in a year so they can have another family if that's what they so desire, or they could just make a million dollars and put it all into remembering their lost child. They could do that. So there's really, life is all about options and choices. Yeah. That's, that's all it is, options and choices. So it's like, you just gotta, you, you don't have to do anything. Yeah. I always used to say that. <laughs> Cause you could, you could die today. That's the truth yeah. of it. So, so tomorrow's been promised. The next hour is been promised. Bro, yesterday is not promised. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually funny how I'm laughing at that, but if you really think about it, how many people wanted to do stuff today but died yesterday? Yeah. That's true. Uh, how many people had goals down their life? Do you think about died before they could get even close to them? Do you think that the media is mainly about silly stuff? Yes. Yes. I think that death. I, I think it's the one of the talking worst about it. Our society, social media. I think that I think that it could be good because it's you can good. learn so many things from it. But like stuff like just say like death and kids and this and that. It's probably going to make this video probably not get anywhere, right? I mean, but yeah. society would rather you see renegade, like Fortnite dances and shit. So it's like, 
<laughs> I mean, especially kids. Did you know that gaming is a bigger topic on YouTube? Like more channels are associated with gaming than like a lot of things that make sense, like money. Lifestyle. Lifestyle, gym. It's like, how are more people into gaming than the gym? Probably, that makes no sense to me. Because if you think about it, what? Makes no sense. <laughs> if you think about it, that's, that's remember, when, when you said, oh, you shouldn't waste time liking a boy or a girl. There's, right. another, there's a num another statement you have to add on to that. There's a difference between a boy and a man and a girl and a woman. When Do you think that there's a transition point and then all of a sudden that person... Is, I think that is you make when, that transition point. I think that is when you realize that you're going to die. Or like you've died yeah. somehow yeah. already. Right? Kill like, yourself mentally. I mean, no, like Everyone literally... Everyone has eyes, but it's just the time you know, before you actually open them. To me, it's like when you realize how your mortality is so... People drop it off like flies. I'm like, wait a minute. You know, people, people, people die, die every day. You gotta live life. Someone probably died as, as we were speaking. When this video blows up, somebody's gonna die watching this video. Yeah. As a fact. Or it's gonna be the last thing they think about. They're like, I really gotta get my life to Earth. <laughs> Crash. But that's, but that's life, man. But after this, this video is, is uploaded, a hundred years after this video, where are we going to be? I always think <laughs> when I realize I take it back to a memory, that's not for sure exactly how it happened, but I remember I asked my mom, I mean, I asked my mom where my grandmother was, and she was like, she's probably bones by now. I'm like, it's only been X amount of time since she's passed. I'm like, thinking about it, it's like, you know, you're here. You're gone, and then your bones, and then less people think about you on average. So it's like that, like, my brain is feeling some type of way just thinking about it, right? Like, you've lit, like, you started out as two cells, right? Combined. And then took time. But you didn't even know that you were building yourself. So you, the pieces, knew what to do, chose to do it that way, but you didn't know what you were doing. Yeah. You didn't choose to do it. It just happened, and then eventually you lived life like you were born, and then you gained consciousness throughout experiences, I think, and your eyes got opened to how life was slowly but surely. And me, it's like, you wake up with more consciousness every day to me. It's like, yeah. wow, I'm more aware of just what's going on and what really happened and just, but it's not even, because it's not there. It's all in the past. It's just my recollection of the reality that it was, and me thinking about it now as life has made its effect on me and how I think. So... Nobody you has to know You never know what someone else is thinking. You never know, but you... All you can do is hope the best for yourself, but at the same time, like... Well, well there's something I was going to say. Oh, yeah. At the same time, Regardless of if, if you know what someone else is thinking or not, you obviously hope for the best for everybody, you know. You hope this person reaches his, goal, reaches his goals. You hope this person is genuinely happy like this is that. You know, it's important to, you know, be happy yourself and take care of yourself before you worry about anybody else. But you can use uh, motivation. You can, when you talk with people, when you learn about other people, you can use their experiences to your own, um, what's it called? Gain benefit. Yeah, hundred percent. Cause like experience. Yeah, okay. I, I heard some dude like, uh, uh, he, his childhood friend or something on on the news. He had died. Uh, wow. He, he, he's known him for twenty five years. He was in the military. He saved his life and then he died because uh, uh, of na natural co uh, causes. And it's like he told pe people that and people were like, man. I still have my my brother. I still have mm, my best friend. Right. I still have this. I still have that. See you, man. Have a good night, bro. Peace out. Hey, drive safe. I, 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 um, you know, I might have argued with my brother. I would have, you know, I might have said things to him that I shouldn't have. I might have taken him for granted. You know, maybe, maybe someone feels the same. You know, I still miss my brother or whatever. Like you can use that and be like, man, I still have these things. Right. I, I, you know, yeah. And I, you. Andrew Tate said something, he was like, no, no, his brother said something, he was like, yes, I have all this money. Is having those small, those little things. 
your mother, your father, your family? Yeah, he was like, I, I mean, in some ways, when I was 18 or something, I was more richer than I'll ever yeah, be now, right? I heard that. Because my mother, like, these people, I don't, I don't know what the fuck he said, but I thought about it, right? Like, these people are alive in your life, and you don't value them like you will when they're gone. Yeah. Because they're, the, you know, they're able to be there. And it's crazy to think, like, people say everybody will die. It's like, you know... So, in you my can't life, that to just say like F it, let me live how I want. No, I mean, for sure, I don't think that way. Some people I've seen do you that can, and also want. take the transition back and forth from not caring to caring. But for me, it's like now I I really felt that a lot of people are alive, and in my life, I'm like grateful for them. But then again, it's like nobody really cares about you at the same time, to be honest. Or I, I've also realized that. You meant to uh, say Mo, Mo, Mo. Gonna show the physique. <laughs> now soon I'll be able to show how much. No, you're just gonna get the cameo right now a little bit. Down, yeah. Down. If, if, if I think about me, bro, you should just. And show a girl it. that I was with, right? We're going down down the same hill. Right. The second I got saved you from should, that hell. Okay, right. <clears throat> as I got saved, the thing is, is that she's still managing to still go down and down and down and down and down. But this. Her dropping down right. and down and down, this is her happiness. Going down. But why do you and care down, about that? And down. What is exactly. It because, to me, I, because at some point she thought thinks that I need her. It, it, it's funny, like, for her to think that, oh, like, what's she gonna do without me? Oh, I hope you heal. I hope that you live uh, the best life ever. I hope Why'd I you even listen, that. listen to that stuff? I, I didn't. That's why I, I said to, to myself, why am I gonna let this get to me? You know, I, I gotta save from it while well, she digs herself. Gains 50 pounds heavier, eats whatever she wants, dessert, whatever, drink all the time she wants, party all the time she wants, hold around with her family and her friends. She could do whatever she wants, digging That's herself true. deeper and deeper and deeper. While I'm saved, I have nothing to do but just look down at her and just see but how see, much... once again, it's like, why do you care about I don't what care. she's doing? To I, me, I, I'm thinking to, like, to me, listen, listen. It's so, the motivation like, and discipline. You're going down, like, you're going down. Yeah. And then you get saved, like you say, right? And yeah. she keeps going down. But what you should immediately be doing instead of looking down is be looking around going oh so this is what life is at this level right, okay yeah. well let me w oh fuck holy shit oh look my up, god yeah. damn well i'm at this level and actually in a time that you even looked up and thought about like you actually could have been sinking because time yeah. is going bro with or without time you. is going you have to work hours to get money at this rate hours is life and hours is life. That's why power and influence is the most important thing. Because if you have power, which is money, you don't need to use your life to do really anything at a certain point. Right. That's why, not that I envy, but I can't wait till I get there like these rich people and just, I can have these things and not be able to act like I never put in the work to get there. Yeah. But it's, all, it's only a matter of time and effort up to you and me. So it's like, Bro, Man, people you are, should, yeah. to me, you should show the physique at any point because it's just a embodiment of where you are at this certain exact point. It doesn't mean where you're going to stay, like, even if you're not proud of it. You think that I'm proud of this physique? <laughs> I, don't know, man. I mean, I'm glad to be here. I'm yeah. glad to be alive, but yeah, yeah. there's nothing that will make me... People? Take care of Arrogant, their families, like I'm too special. their friends, themselves. And it just really got me deeply thinking, like, people spend their whole lives working and then look back, realize they still don't have the things they want, mm -hmm. and still have regret and be like, man, I didn't do anything. What did I do with my life? Even though they live the way that everybody lives, working, 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 working. And for you to put that much into your life and look back at the end of the day and be like, man, I didn't really do anything. It's just like, really think about it. You did more than others. You still work. You still provided. You were still that man during that time. You're saying if you're the and average Joe? And there's people Joe, that didn't even work. You're saying if you're the average Joe? If you're the average Joe, that's, you, the, that's it, the bare minimum. To and you work your work. whole life? I mean, that's the average Joe. That's the bare minimum that everyone, you know, does. not You know, that's the bare minimum for to work every day, to work, to apply yourself, to get something done, to improve more and more every single day. But Everybody's people, held to that standard. Yeah, something. exactly. So there's that they one... They expect you to put work yeah, in. 100%. So, someone told me today at work, in America, you need to work hard to uh, live. Yeah. And this guy came from Colombia and Russia, and he told me this. So, plus he was 
He just put in work. There's three, there's three, three stages. Either you're, you know, average, maybe even below average, let's say, and then, then there's the average person that works it their whole life, and then there's the person on top, the third stage, where they've made it, whatever, if they're stable, they want what they want. The People live their whole life in the middle area, and they still say they haven't tried enough while people haven't even from the people from the first stage haven't even got to, to, to the second stage yet. If you know what I'm trying to say. Like people that work their asses off in that second stage trying to get to that third stage. How much money are you talking about? I think the third the third stage, what I think about is people who can maybe afford a decent sports car yeah. at age forty five. Maybe the millionaire. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe the I mean I don't have this money so I can't really tell you seriously, but I've been thinking about it, probably the guy who maybe has like a GTR and five mil by the time he's eighty something, but maybe if he, he lives had, till that long, right? Your legs even won't work to drive that thing. <laughs> I mean, if you don't what have a balanced with, with, life, with money, your it, body won't work it, the way you want it to. If you don't have a balanced life, but I think that us, uh, I mean, I don't want to just relay other people's content, but apparently, what I would think would be manageable is like I don't want to say because it, it limits you, right? But what someone said is that you need a hundred thousand a day, I think. I think that's what they said. Okay, that's people don't make that in three or five years. Then. But some people make that a day. Some people make a hundred thousand and more a day. That's insane. You know that that's true, right? I know. Some people make more than a hundred thousand dollars a day. Yeah. Okay. If, if you think about it this way, if you grind, grind, grind. Let's say drop shipping, e-commerce, whatever. You can name any business brand, right? Say someone starts from zero, right? Yeah. And you know their their business starts booming. Boom, they get three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars orders in a day. My dude, if you scale out the time from when your business started blowing up, and you connect the and you uh, total up all the profits and the revenue and everything you've made within those twenty four hours, right? I guarantee that you would probably make hundreds of thousands, if not, maybe even close to a million in just one day. With the right mindset, the the right product, the right business. There's people that probably, you don't believe there's people that made millions in probably a day? I believe it. And I could, like I told you, I could be off with that figure. He could have said 100 million a day. Yeah, oh That's yeah, you could literally. have said, yeah. I told you, I don't know what he said, but I believe that it could be some yeah. atrical, uh, astronomical yeah, so number com compared to what we're used to working jobs as. Yeah, so, so some person dropped hundred, uh, thousands of dollars on dinner last night, just, you know, last night, a couple hours ago. So someone probably, bought a 10K steak, yeah. literally today. Someone probably bought just it with gold other. flakes and everything on it that they probably didn't even eat. <laughs> and, you know, that's more than people have in their savings, saving the, for years that's, and years and years of their life. Th that's more than some people <laughs> make. I mean, we're just talking about dumb shit at this point, but this is, it's yeah. Not, it's not dumb shit when you really think about it. Because like, we need to expand people's minds. Yeah, yeah. That's more, So $10,000 is more than what some people make in a whole year. No, 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 18 no. plus. For, you can make 100000 a year. When you, when you like think about it. Sales job. Yeah. I got to start it. Yeah, for sure. If you. <laughs> I mean, but really life is sales, to be honest. Yeah, 100%. Any, any, I mean. You have to be able to sell yourself. Exactly. Not even the product. But your body is a selling point, point that yeah. a lot yeah, of people yeah. really say, care say, about. Say you make 60, 50, 70,000, you know, a year, technically, if you connect your hours. Bro, rent, rent <laughs> money exists, food exists, <laughs> exactly. bills exist, living is exists. And we can do the math when, right now. You, you can do the math, you can do it right now, actually. I would love for you to do it right now. If you, if you calculate everything. So $70,000. Okay, let's say $70,000. No, 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 first we got to. The average house, what do you think the average house costs? Average house, 250 to 400,000. So let's just call it 300,000. 300,000, flat. And the, we, the, the mortgage is... this a little bit ago. So just flat, flat out divided by 70,000, that's 4.2 years. That means that if you have 70-something thousand dollars a year, <laughs> you save every single penny of it, which you, you can. You can. You can maybe save if you're eating the smallest amount of food, half of it. Right. If you're, if you're, if right. you, if you're really good. Right, and, and throughout the year, our business is just giving you the seventy-five grand in one handout like that. They spread it out evenly, whether it's throughout weeks, throughout one week.
throughout months. We got a couple of shots, bro. Exactly. That, that's how it works. And a weekly, when you live a weekly to week, week life and basis with every single person in this world does, those expenses, they, Most, like ninety percent of people, I think. Yeah, ninety percent of people. The second they get their their uh, check, it, it's yeah, it's either they either spend it or they have debt or they have things they want to do with that money. <laughs> and your savings, oh, I don't care. Put it all in the savings. You're gonna some, I, sooner I or later. Crypto. Sooner or later, you're gonna need it again. Take it out of your savings. Wait for the next check. That's the thing. When you live paycheck to paycheck, you're endlessly working to save or make nothing. If you think about it. You know, that's why even when you, even if you don't work, you know, pay, paycheck to paycheck, these are just buying things and the expenses of life. Imagine if you, you know, if you, you know, separating your needs and your wants is one thing, but when you start incorporating your needs for your wife, for your kids, for your friends, whatever, oh, BS, yeah. those are, when you, when you put those in, then. We could, bro, we could talk can, about how much it would cost to yeah. raise a child well. Yeah. That's, that's a lot of money. We could talk about how it means the most to scale up how much money you're making because that's how it really matters. Time is valuable, but money is also valuable because if it takes you, so the guy that I saw on YouTube made $600,000 a year, for the first half a year, he made like nothing. Oh wow, good for I mean. And then the whole rest of the half of the year he made, obviously bank that it only went up, but think about it, he, he was posting all the time consistently. So most people don't have the mental fortitude to consistently do something long enough in a business, in a YouTube channel, in a relationship even, in, in the gym, with a diet. Most people don't have the consistency yeah. in, their, in their mind to get the stuff done that they say that they yeah. want to get done. And what is they can't stay people? focused. Because it's easier to go and hit the club with your girls and get that dopamine rush. Like, oh, I did something cool. I'm <laughs> such a baddie. I'm such Always a... with a baddie. No, no, no. <laughs> look, look at yourself in the mirror. Wait. <laughs> I've been a nasty girl, right? I've been a nasty girl. girl so, like, girl. <laughs> they, that's how I want to feel, right? Do you know how many videos have been made like that? Like, like girls or even dudes? More people watch porn than actually focus on their life. That's... Uh, you, you know there's billions... Uh, I think there was like 40 billion users every year that increased in just watching that. That doesn't make any sense. How is it 40 billion users? Because the billions of people in this world watch it over and over and over and over and over again. But that's so easy that they make, I mean, there's no way that's, I mean, there's no way that's true. I'm Show me a study that says 40 billion users watch Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Pornography has existed since the 20s, 30s, let's say. Maybe even longer than that before recording was a big thing, right? Now, let's check the population of this world. What is it, six, seven billion? Eight. Six, eight billion, okay. Eight, eight billion, uh, if you want to be, you know, around the ballpark, around 20, the dot, 24, 24. average. Right, and if you uh, take, you know, so I, it is 67 to 70% of the population, they know all porn, or they've watched some sort of porn, or beat, you know, whatever. Is that, that a they, fact? That, 60, is, that is a fact, okay. 60%. Of people so, how old? Um, it, it's actually majority is younger people, younger teenage men that, necessarily can't get any or they do this they do that they're exposed to it they're curious of their body and how it works and that's been facts bro yeah and then they they, they they develop this dopamine and this energy and the sex drive to be able to you know uh, you know if they can't do it with well, women they first learn or they you know they just live their life doing that i mean i'm gonna married I mean, men do it too a huge percentage of it all right i'm it's not gonna addiction. say bro i've seen it on people's like i've seen it on people's phones in real yeah. life they'll have Me like too. some and it's been me at some point. Like, I would romanticize an image about something and just put it as my lock screen. Like, it's literally... Everyone in school, I know I used to do that. Like, it's literally a fake girl that's not even real. It's yeah, like a yeah. girl from a show, a girl from a game. Yeah. Like Melina from uh, Mortal Kombat, right? <laughs> you put it as your lock screen, like, <laughs> Melina's a baddie. So... Yeah, I mean, at that extent, when you fantasize, that's when your mind likes to get creative, but at the same time... Motivated to me. Motivated and creative to because your own... Because you can fantasize your, about a family. To your own like, sexual oh, desires. Do you think that you fantasize about a family? Is that is that fantasizing? Thinking about, oh, I could, I could have a family life and I wanted to be this way. I, isn't that fantasization? Fantasization. fantasization. I mean, in some way... I think it is. It's got to be. Yeah. You're fantasizing about something that is not... Ha- 
you know, it's not here. But the, those characters that don't exist, you'll never have that. So that's why we fantasize it to a limit where it's like, oh, I want this more. Instead of just putting the work in yeah. to have that thing, it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At that point, that, that's Freedom. why I agree. And if you take 60% of the population oh and you multiply it past 100 years, it's well off over 40 billion. What do you mean? What do you mean? 60% of, okay, let's see. But think about how... 60% of 8 billion. So what you're telling me is that everybody's ancestors lived up to this point, survived all the wars, survived slavery, survived trafficking, disease, all these things. They were able to eat consistently, continually, no matter what. Drink water consistently, <laughs> continually, no matter what. For this generation of people alive today to buy bath water, do you know people, people that barely can afford rent, choose to buy a girl's bath water, literally, as a factual statement? Wasting your money, your energy, your time on the wrong things. But the thing is, it makes them happy. So it makes all of it worth it, no? But they won't. Is that not true? It makes you happy. because. But they won't pay for advice online about how to get their life together. But they won't spend the time to watch videos about someone who has the results that they want. Oh, wow, look at that. But they won't actually put in the work. In the past three years, it's gotten to 17 point billion, but the thing is... 17 point billion, as you just said. No, no, uh, sorry, 17.5 billion. In the past couple of years, from 35 million, around 40, like I said, to 16, and you know why it's gone down? Because more people have been clubbing, effing around, this and that. There's not much time to do that because everyone usually has it, someone to... Do this, do that. It's so much easier to get yourself out there now. But you know, the argument apps. that I've heard lately is, is that's just the group that you surround yourself with. Like it's not the world. It's just you that's a loser. Every girl I've met it's has just ten you. problems. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a fact. Okay, not ten, but they've been stuck around. I mean, you can admit that. It's not that you know. But, but I mean, I don't know. Not that I don't know what that matters, but it's like, what I'm saying is. It doesn't matter, to be honest. Like, as a factual statement, it doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is my life to me and your life yeah. to you, to be honest, and what you're going to build with it. That's all that should matter, to be honest. So I'm saying, like, if you think about your ex, I mean, a girl that you used to talk to. You used to. Yeah, a girl you used to talk to at one point, I think, or something you like that. Used to is a big word. Because am I going to go home now, talk to her, go over now and see her? No. Yeah, it's in the past. Gone bro, doesn't bro, exist. Bro, I can't even remember who you're talking about, to be honest, but what I'm saying is, if you think about who they are, or who they were, or who you even, like, something that I saw, a meme, it was like, um, she, I mean, I don't know the words exactly, so I'll make it up. She didn't hurt me, I didn't hurt her. It didn't happen. She doesn't exist, I'm schizophrenic. Think about that. If you never see her again, it's like you were just schizophrenic the whole time, and you're making it all up in your head, because oh, it's yes, not real. That's crazy. I mean, it's not real, bro. I haven't seen her once. It's not real. That's honestly scary to think about. But it's how can literally you know true. Think about it. That deep, bro. Close I was to telling you? you this literally a year ago. I know. How, how do you hold someone so close to you? How do you love someone? Do to so that many extent? different things together. You'll run and miles. Never talk to him again. Yeah. You literally will die. You will know. You. But at least I know that false. Bro, promises, it's a humble thing. At least I know that promises don't exist. People care about you so much. They'll do whatever with you, spend money with you, make money with you, share everything with you, and then all of a sudden, they'll never talk to you again. It's like they wish you dead. Yeah. Basically. Culture, they don't, yeah. They, they don't care anything good to come to you. They don't want to improve you at all. They don't want to spend yeah. any time with you. They don't want to reminisce about no, none of that. No. They don't want to talk about none of that. You're just That's gone. Crazy, it's man. like you're dead. Yep. Dead and gone. So never it's like, yeah. bro, they never existed. Just live your life. So what was the point of every spending every second with them? What second, bro? Wasted. I mean, the seconds that don't exist. What, bro, what girl are you even talking about? Time that don't exist. Time like, exist. I mean, all I know is you're in front of me and I recognize you. We used to work out together and stuff. Oh, man. And I feel like I have aged. Good, brother. How are you doing? Good to see you. So, yeah. Do you have something to add to this? Because we were just talking about the duality of women or people just leaving your life saying hey let's
do this together, let's do that together, let's make money together, let's experience all this stuff together, yeah. let's party together, let's mm -hmm. club together, let's go here together, let's take travel together. And then, and then, and then they'll never talk to you again. It's yeah. like you die to them. Spending all your time, your money, your energy, your years, But that's body, factual, though. Your life, your yeah, it's factual. You never won't see you again in your whole life. You're just at the same time. Right, bro? But here's my take on it. Here's my take on it. The stuff you did together, the stuff she did, it never existed. She never existed. It's not real. You're just schizophrenic. You just think about stuff that doesn't happen sometimes, but you're slowly getting out of it right now. And it's hard. Because it's not real. Yeah, you shouldn't go on this path to think about it. What path, bro? What path? You're going to wait till time to think about it. It's not real. Because, because if, if this person who's not real walked in today, you, would they even give a fuck about you at all? Most likely, probably not. Because if they did, because if they did, they would have been texting you. They would have been seeing you now. So it's like you're dead, bro. Contact someone to get back at them. But if you contact someone just to generally feel how they're doing, that's real care. They're not gonna fuck with you until what's it called? Until you get like a lot of money. Yeah, that's like a known person. Wait a minute. Success, success is the best. And then, and then, and then, and then, they're not gonna say, "Hey, let's do something." Here's your career, you fuck. Yep. You did this, 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 and it's like, is that really true? Because people just make shit up all the time, bro. People, people aren't even in control of their brains enough to live a good life. Why would they be in control to recall time accurately years ago? It's not, it's not, it's not real. In a visual, if you really think about it, all men, not that we're all the same, but so women, we are different. I've heard that so many times. Everything, yeah. they're all the yeah, same. everything they want, you, they can always get it from somebody. Your money. You know, that's the thing about manipulating without even time. Yeah, your social. Would you not agree that today in modern life, the man you got to, you got to be the man. You know, it's, it's, it's yeah. man. You don't got to, to be. To protect your girl, to protect yeah. your girl, to you know, do this for your girl. Be the one paying all the bills. Be the one paying all the bills. Yeah, yeah. And then and what that's what they all want. Yeah, that's what they want. And then it should be weird. It's funny. As not all the most. It's like you owe it to them or something. Yeah, but like it's like funny as fuck. Like it, it takes a bit. It takes a bit like a couple weeks. Once that, like, once the bitch over with you, like, it'll, it'll take a bitch a couple weeks. Dude, it'll That's be a day. Like, no, 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 it'll, it'll be a day. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, yeah. That shit don't make yeah. it well Depending if your life is not where you want it to be at that time. Because yeah. if you got money, if your body looks good, if you got a social network, if you're smart, if you're going places, a girl want to be in that yeah. place with you. So it's you like, if your life is... Picture, a, what does that say? But think about it. If you, if you give no. your whole life to a girl, you're not going to be in a position to get another one after that one doesn't give a crap about what you're giving her. Because if you give everything to a girl, you're not gonna have the money, you're not gonna have the body, because you're gonna say, no, no, let's go clubbing, yeah. let's go. Yeah, so, they, so they bring down your value, to, so. and then they, after you spend time giving your life to them, your money to them, your experiences with them, oh, so much care over dumb shit. A lot of the time, you feel like you did a lot of dumb shit with, with some person that you're talking about? I, I, I know, bro. I didn't, I didn't care about anything but her, I mean, but this person. So what I'm saying is they get you to this point where all you have is them, and then they just, you gone, never to be seen, like they don't exist, and then it's like, you can't just easily get someone else because you have made yourself zero value. Yeah, no, like you can't even talk to somebody because all you have cared about is something else, so you, your mind's not straight enough to even think about life correctly. Yeah, you made yourself a custom for that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you think about, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you thought about was how you were living life at that time. Uh -huh. Now you got to reset to life. By, by your own means, by the way you're living. But a lot of girls, it seems like people tell me, it seems like people tell me a lot of girls just go, I mean, it, it seems like what, well, girls just go from person to experience to fun yeah, to fun to fun yeah, to fun yeah, to fun. That's that's that I same mean, night, I something's mean, happening. Bro. That same day, something's happening. Well, the same thing I trust. Did, yeah, I mean, you, you, the same thing that girls have been with two us in the past, they've had it before, they've been going to have, have it after. But so what, what separates but what separates a boy, a clean, stupid, broke, dumb boy from you a be man, different. a protective, hardworking man? What would be you separate? I feel like it's a mindset. Yeah. Right? Mindset. I mean it seems like a lot of financial responsibility too. It seems like a lot of people say that they yeah, right. get the same stuff from men. So it's like you guys to just not do the same stuff that everybody else does. But I think if you're in a position where you think about how do I get a girl, you're in a losing spot of times a million. Yeah, if you're million. if you're living your life, you're like, man, I gotta find a girlfriend. You're losing. You're losing. Because you're chasing like you're. Angry. There's no point to get a girlfriend to me. 
what are you going to do? Have a child out of, you know, that you're not married to a girl so she could leave you, you can get child support. The child doesn't have his father because a girl and it's like you're going to go with some other dude and then you're going to have another dude like, raising your kid? Why do I feel like, come on now. The president on a piece of paper is worth more than a female. Because the president on a piece of paper is never going to leave you. Because, because the president on a piece of paper is never going to leave you. Something that I thought about. Think about this. Think about this. Think about this. What's the percentage? Twenty dollars and be like, man, what could I do with this twenty compared to what this girl could do for me? If you think about it, man. I mean, but once again, that could just be because you're not talking to the girls that have value. I do believe that there's people and girls that have value that can actually put money in your pocket a smart way. But what I was gonna say is, think about the percentage. No, no, no. Think about the percentage of girls that if you got sent away for some odd reason for a month think of the percentage of girls that would stay no contact you just no contact with them for a whole month what's the percentage of girls that are not the top of the dudes because you're going uh, the, the what's the percentage Yo, you know how many no 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 what is the percentage it's, it's it's a, a, how yeah. much like five yeah i would say a little like five percent five percent, five percent, five percent bro do you think that you've ever been with a girl that would have stayed with you if you just know no contact with her for a whole month. Yeah, it's hard to tell unless it happens, but I feel like if you really, I mean, you can tell by a girl's character, like if you were to be in this uh, situation, how would she act? If me personally, I'm gonna go first. If I were to have been in that situation, I would have said. I think because they left, they don't care about you anyway. That's just my, like if a girl is willing to leave you, they never really, really cared about you. Because if you really, really care about something, you never want it to leave your vicinity. Yeah. That's just me being me. Especially if it's just leaving you on No, just in general. No explanation. Just in general. I just don't get the false promises. Have you ever yeah. said, have you ever said, man, I hate how good my body feels from going to the gym? Ever. No. What about you? Have you ever gone to the gym, got a workout, and said, fuck, man, I hate that I worked out. That really fucked me over. I can turn on happiness right there. Constant improvement. What about money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Made up. Shit. I hate I just got a thousand dollars. No! <laughs> some some people be mad that they didn't make more money. Some people, <laughs> yeah. right? Like, I could have made five thousand. Most people live paycheck to paycheck. I think that everybody, I, I think most people just don't control their minds enough to focus on getting money enough to actually gain traction. So life's about gaining traction and like a plane, flying up and getting the most that you can because that's always gonna limit you. The amount of money that you have is always gonna limit your options in life, period. Yeah, hundred percent, yeah. Your future's controlled by your money, by your life. Yep, your life is made up by how much money you have, how many people you know, and the things that they do, and what you can do in response. But what you do in response, it can't be for their their uh, uh, sole uh, benefit. benefit. Yeah, you have to find your, your own, own benefit agenda. within their benefit as well. Agendas that coincide with each yes, other. Yes, yes, yes. And help each other, massage each other. Oh man, it's like Arnold said, "Sex." Oh, it's like not traumatizing, but if you really think about it, like deeply in your head, you really can't trust anybody by yourself. Maybe your family, your your boys. You can't trust anybody but yourself. That's All you have is you. Sad. And even then, how do you know your mind's not playing tricks on you? How do you know that nothing that you've done before has been fake? People lie. Do you come every night? You could have tried harder. Do you come every night? Yeah. <laughs> What's up, bro? Have a good workout. I mean, yeah, you can't. You can't. It's just... So, what is life about to you? Uh, let me ask you, before you ask, let me ask you quickly from your life experience. I mean, I just asked you a question, you should just answer it. Ask me again. What does life matter? What in life matters to you? What's the most important things in life? What is life about? What matters in life to you? That's the one. That's you don't even know. This guy doesn't even what know. Life how to old me. are you? How, how, okay, no, no, no. I just needed, I just needed a second to be able to just think down, like, throughout the course right. of my life, what I want and what makes me happy. What will make Summed me happy? Summed up. 
Yes. Don't don't give me a whole paragraph. No. I was able to say power and influence. Easy. Boom. Power and influence? But, that's what I said. So what in life matters to you? Money and happiness. Happiness. What does that mean? Kyle, what does happiness mean? Peace. No, not happiness. Peace. No, no, no. Peace. Kyle, what is what is what does happiness mean? What does happiness mean? Yes. This guy just said peace. Power and peace. I like that. I like power. Power means a lot. What does happiness mean, Kyle? What does happiness mean, <laughs> Kyle? <laughs> ah, shit. You don't know? Oh, my God. What does the world come to? How do you, like, Kyle? It makes you think, no? Yeah, it's weird to explain. It's like... Oh, my God. You ask me, what is happiness? Happiness, that I would say, is when you feel inside, when your mind is at a point where it's calm enough to enjoy the small things in life yes. and be able to still focus on the reason why you're breathing. That, 100%. to me, is happiness. That's perfectly summed up. What's happiness, Kyle? Happiness, to me, is basically, like, the feelings... The, not the feelings, but what's the thought? Just that, like you said, just enjoying, like, where you're basically, like, mentally stable enough or just, like, mentally happy enough to enjoy the little shit in life. But then, also, if you have, like, some type of influence, like, the happiness that you get from the shit that you do for the communities and shit like that. That's well spoken, buddy. That's well said. Because what's it called? Like, basically, my, basically what makes me happy is like, if I had enough influence or enough power, enough money, whatever the fuck, like, my shit would just be trying to be making, like, the fucking youth or just, like, the teens and shit proud. Like, not proud, but, like, what's it called? Like, happy for them to experience shit that they never experienced before. Can you, can, can you plug this up and put it in a good camera? Yes, sir. But to you. me, my thing is, I mean, maybe I'm just selfish and a terrible person. Tell me if I'm a terrible person to you, but I think that why would you take the energy and the life that you've made and put it into something else, someone else that you don't even know, that doesn't know you, that you could build up and they could use to grow, I mean, destroy something. I mean, hearing myself say that, I think that's just the chances in life that you take right. You get into a relationship, you know it could break your heart. Yeah. But, but you still go into it hoping for the best. That's the worst. I just, I don't know why. I'm not the kind of person that would do that. I understand what I But, like, I don't know. You can just always build yourself up more, 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 more. And that could include building up somebody else just in a way that also helps you. Like, that's why it's good. I was just telling him. If it helps you, though. If he has a channel that has X amount of followers, you have a channel that has X amount of followers, I have a channel. We all make videos. That's X amount more posts that we all have that can help us all get views, subscriptions, money, a better life. Yeah, but well, if I'm the only yeah. one posting and you don't got a channel, but you're in the video, you're helping me out because you're a face, yeah, right. you're an influence, but you're not there. I just don't know what people... You need to build an influence and have a voice. Yeah. Why, why don't people have the vision? Oh, I only have three followers. Oh, I That's only have right. this much followers. That's all right. What am I going to do? If I post, who's going to see it? My, my three people? My friend? My, my mom and my brother? You don't have the confidence. Got, you know, like that. They don't have the confidence that their voice is worthy of people hearing. Right. That's the thing. You need a vision. It's not about what you have now. It's about what you could have. Yeah. You know. But not that many people think about the future. A lot of people just want to have fun. What's that saying? People think about the now. Girls just want to have fun. Well, yeah. People think about the now instead of the future. Are you people? <laughs> What's your channel name? I told you this already. Are you thinking about the future? What's your channel name? <laughs> did you uh? Did, did you apply to that job? Did you end that relationship that you know is toxic? Did you choose to do it or did she do it? She did it. Mutual. I can't remember the fuck we're talking about the last time. Me, to be honest, I've always held on until the end with every person. Yeah. I was going, I, don't I, do I, it! That shit fucks you up the most. Don't oh, do yes, it. bro. Oh, 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 man, that. It fucks you up so bad because don't you run it. miles and you do everything. Don't do it. Oh, you run miles no. and that other person still at the start. It's broke. <laughs> Lucius, I said what that exactly. What did you say? Bro. 
you run laps on that person and feel at the start. Hey, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, every dude that I've ever talked to in here, I've told them that ex exact same thing. You give your all while they don't even take us. What I would say is that you run miles and laps for somebody while they still at the start line, not even taking the first step. Yeah. That's exactly what I would say. And, and the thing is, throughout, throughout the whole race, bro, you don't even re realize it that she ain't even take the first step yet. And you still be running, 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 you know running, running. I was so like, yeah. in, just thinking, like, damn, uh, what can I do to make this exactly shit better? Exactly. Better yourself for her. But yep. you never better yourself for yourself, though. Yeah. Bro, it's crazy how. It seems like we all have the same avenue of thought. It's just yeah. going to take you time to get to yeah. a different stage. But I was time, like, yeah. Hard work. At first, I mean, it, this is beta talk, but you want to, like, oh, she left me because I'm not good enough. Let me be good enough for this girl. But it's like, wait. Right. She didn't even care about the base of me enough right. to see it through. She'd rather go and right. so go to someone else. Wants a good enough best version so of herself, it's like, and she doesn't want your base. Why is it even valuable, bro? No. It's not even valuable. But for some reason, it seems like a lot of society has killed their self-confidence, or society has killed our self-confidence enough for us to believe that a person who chooses to not care about us in any way is worth our life. Just like X amount of dollars is worth our life, a salary. So you all know, have this amount of money and I'm not gonna accept anything else for X amount of time because I like X amount of money that you're gonna give me for me doing whatever for you. You know people on salary will go the extra mile because they're yeah. getting paid that money. And you, also, lie, bro. and you also fuck up your money. Yeah, yeah bro. Somebody. You're like, yeah. no, no, it can work. No, 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 yeah, it's girl, bro, I'm, I'm, you do I'm, I'm, no, I'm gonna no. be completely honest. <laughs> I gave everything that I didn't have plus some more. Thousands, right? Just to make thousands. Yeah. That I didn't have. I've done that shit with friends. Money I did as money I didn't have. But I never let anybody know that I didn't have it. You were just trying to live for that person, that's but it's like you don't even yeah. put it in yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. crazy. But you you And then because it. you didn't put it in yourself, they they're like, bro, your life is trash anyway. What are you talking about? Oh, because I put it all in you, you don't give me crap about it. Oh a hoot! When was the last time you said a hoot, bro? They didn't give a hoot about it. <laughs> I don't know said that. <laughs> they, don't, they don't give a hoot about it. <laughs> I will never. Not a care in the world. I will never. I got a too second much pride thought. to do that shit, bro. I got way too much pride to do that shit, bro. Hey, bro, but this is why we have this podcast, because you got to be a well-versed man or person. You know, even if you are a female, you got to be a well-versed person to be able to maneuver this life and be happy about it. Happy, you talk about happiness, right? Yeah. To me, it's like when I'm like, so calm in what I'm doing, the path that I'm living, but I also can appreciate how easy and enjoyable life is as it is while I'm doing it. That's just the perfect flow if I can do what it's doing. Like working out, you're not like, oh my gosh, this is my favorite. You're yeah. like, wow, this is a new part of I've never felt before. Like I feel so powerful, this and that, whatever it is. Making money, you're like, wow, I'm learning so much in my job. I feel like I'm doing something to help the world. I'm, I'm understanding different things. I'm planning for my own business in the future based on how I'm looking at how this is going. But bro, the second everybody walks away from their grave, what are you doing? They're going to. What does it matter to you right now? I don't. That, that's what I want. Tomorrow, tomorrow isn't promised. They're going to live their life the same way they, they did when you were alive. It's like a donation, bro. It's yeah. charity. Yeah. It's life charity. Yeah. That's something that's not even here anymore. It's like this schizophrenic thing. Yeah. But but it's there because I, mean, I don't know. I've been to the site. My mother said that my grandmother's bones are, many times it's like, you know, I've been to the point where I felt something, but what does it really do, you know? It's only gonna grow something inside of you that's gonna propel you forward if it, anything at all. Because the reality is, is she is actually probably a pile of bones that would rather be live my life and do things in the world, yeah. make myself somebody instead of visiting her pile of bones. Which is what I just thought about. Like, she'd rather me live my life, do some shit, right. make, make something of myself. Never think about it. Yeah. Like, man, the dead bones that I came from. You know, I appreciate them. I appreciate them because that's why I'm here. Dude, bro, we all wouldn't be here without my grandma's dead bones. That's true. We, we, we all wouldn't we, be here without we, my grandma's dead bones. Here. There would have been no Lucius. I went to school with you starting how many years ago? You know from school? Bro, literally right. like half my life ago. Eighth grade? Literally like half my life ago. You know what I'm Eighth grade? Like seventh, eighth grade. Is that when you started going to Monroe Middle School? Yeah. Seventh or eighth grade? No, I, went to, I went to Monroe in seventh. So seventh grade, I knew you. That's like half my life ago. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's you crazy. Old, you know, school, I really be seeing it. 
Well, besides Melvin, but then what's about Melvin and Melvin? Damn, so you don't see anybody else that comes from school? No. Some people follow. I mean, it's, it's only been niggas. Bro, we went to school literally right there. It's only been niggas from like fucking high school and shit, but other than that, yeah, no. Nah. It ain't been nobody from middle school or nothing like that, bro. <sighs> you gotta take charge in your life. A hands on approach, as Rick Ross says, a hands on approach. Like, I just cracked my back once. Maybe the camera heard it, probably not, but. Uh, people are like, oh, I gotta have a chiropractor. I gotta have a masseuse take care of the You're pains so in my much money for somebody in. I gotta, you gotta have a hands-on approach to know that you're capable of editing your body, changing your life, and being a better person that you want to be. You just gotta take the steps that are actually required. You gotta go to the store, buy that specific food, and just have that be your standard. Don't even think about, oh, well, I used to get this, I want to get this. Think about, I set the standard that I want this outcome of a better body, so I'm going to buy this food that I know is going to give me a better outcome, regardless of what. Right. That's just what it is. Don't even waste the energy and the mental fortitude thinking of the other options because that's not what you want. Well, friends, I appreciate this podcast. What's your fucking channel? You pull that bitch up so I don't make no mistakes. See, when this thing gets millions of views, you go, oh man, I wish it would have been a show. So, what's your channel? Lone Make Star, one. Lone right Star now. Make one oh, right I, think now. I, I think I have one. Lone Star 2X. L-O-N-E-S-T-A-R 2X. All right. What do you, what do you post? And I think it's the same on all soldiers. What do you post? Who are you? What's your elevator pitch? While he poses up. What's your elevator pitch? Gaming, gaming clothes. A whole bunch of fun. Tell, <laughs> tell the camera and speak up loud. You would hate that you were just mumbling, right? And you couldn't hear it. You would make sure it's no. Hey, that's a good ass phone, too. I'd be pissed off, bro. <laughs> exactly. So, explain who you are. How old are you? What do you want? Niggas ain't getting my old government shit. So, Wait, I'm 23. I'm 23. I want power and influence. And I want to be very physically capable so I can feel good while I'm living life. Because that's the only way to feel good. I want to be able to live. Capable. I want to be able to live in peace and be rich. Peace and be rich. That's what I want. What are you doing to get there? Where's your clips? Clips? Clips. Well, I'm a shot. <laughs> you said it like you were at, um... Man, fuck oh, all this. I'm grabbing that bitch. <laughs> Lone Star, L-O-N-E-S-T-A-R-2-X, man. Post nothing, post nothing but gaming clips and a whole bunch of other shit, bro. What's your shit, gang? What's my shit? Nah, Mo. What? Lucius Dane, L U C I O U S D A N E. And this man over here, what's your shit, man? What's your masterpiece of a channel? What's your channel? Your masterpiece of a channel. What's your show? The first and last. One. What you be posting, cuz? Or what are you gonna post? I just, I just be. What is your life made of? Basically. Hard work, mentality. Hard work ethics, on what? In my body, in my life. In my mind. Mm-hmm. What do you want to do with your life? Hard work meaning what? Okay, it's in your body to do what? Continuous growth and improvement and achieving the limitless standards. Being being better than I was yesterday. And being able to be in a position that is not impossible, but can go beyond what the mind can imagine. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. That that's was, hard. That that's hard. Nice, that's dude. hard. That's the one. I'm gonna. You want this bitch back it. on? The, you want this bitch back on the charger? You want this bitch back on the charger or what? Yeah, do do you? I already said it. I mean, this is, I'm gonna post it on this channel. <laughs> I was about to say this on his <laughs> phone. I mean, so so my Instagram is it's underscore ya underscore man <laughs> underscore x a n or it's. Lucius dot Lucius dot Fletcher Lucius dot Fletcher L U C I O U S dot F L E T C H E R. But the thing is, is I care about growing people and connections because that's the only way to learn. That's the only way to grow for me or anybody. You can't live life by yourself and expect to be versed enough to live well. Everybody's born as a child. You don't have it all around you. You don't have it all in you. Your parents don't know what to do. Nobody is just God that they know everything. That they know how to be the best being from age zero. YouTube's taught me a lot. Experience has taught me a lot. Life's taught me a lot. 
You just gotta have an open mind enough to be able to be imprinted on and know what the good thing is. Taking care of your body, is that, is that first and foremost? All right, man. Fuck that, taking care of your mental. Really, really, okay. Taking care of your mental. Part two, so. Without mental, there is no body. Your body can feel good, but nigga, are you feeling good in your head? Or are you feeling good inside? I don't feel... You ruin your body when you ruin your mental. I don't want to say I don't feel good, but I don't feel like high mentally. I don't, I don't get, ex I don't even want to say excited. I just try to look at things for what they are, literally. Okay, let me, not, okay, let me ask you like emotionally. this. Let me ask you to you like this. So what I just said, which is mental health being the first important thing. Would you rather be unhealthy but feeling good on the inside, or would you rather be fit and feel like a piece of shit? If I'm fit, I can't feel like a piece of shit. How do you know? Because I've never felt like a piece of shit while being fit. Or fitter than I have been before. When I was unfit, that's when I felt like shit the most. Life is all about being content. No. Life is Swear all about being that. Content? Content to me means you're fine with whatever you're doing, no matter what. It's wrong. Unless you're constantly putting in that work. But yeah, if you were, then that's fine. But if you're constantly putting in that work, you wouldn't be fine with where you are because you'd be constantly putting in work to be set somewhere else. It means that you're not content. Like when people say, oh, I'm chilling, I'm like, bro, how? How are you chilling? Content, peace, happiness, and motivation. See, That's basically so the inner peace, what does that mean to you? This is one of many, but inner peace, what does that mean to you? Touch on it lightly, please. Inner peace? Basically, inner peace to me is the world could be falling down around you at this point. You could freak out or you could just accept it. You could freak out or accept it, but then at the end of the day, bro, it's still basically about this. I'm gonna say there's no way that the world can be. Which piece is. I the man's counter. I'm gonna go stretch in the camera. What's wrong with you, bro? You too, my I wish you the best, man. Hell yeah, you too, my boy. Grinding in life. All right, brother. Text me when you uh. Wait, what's your YouTube, bro? I, I don't know if I subscribe to it. Lone Star, L O N E S T A R two eight. It's been a good production. <clears throat> it's been a wonderful production. Let us know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> I appreciate you. Appreciate yourself, first appreciate and foremost. Job, man. First and foremost, love yourself and nothing else. Goodbye. <laughs>